This is going to be a real brief one. I'm going to talk about the return of Brock Lesnar to the WWE. Now, last week, all the way up until WrestleMania, there's been speculations, there were rumors going around the internet that the former WWE World Champion, Undisputed World Champion, the last Undisputed World Champion next to CM Punk, and former Undisputed UFC World Heavyweight Champion, and NCAA legend Brock Lesnar was going to sign a deal with World Wrestling Entertainment. Uh, it was going to be a one-year deal, 20 appearances, two times a month, um, several matches, no house shows, pay-per-views, um, big pay-per-views, definitely. Uh, somewhat like the Rock's deal and the Undertaker's current deal right now. And uh, he'll come in and do what he do. Uh, it was very interesting to figure that he was going to somehow make an appearance. People thought, fans thought, and I thought that perhaps maybe Brock Lesnar was going to show up during the main event at WrestleMania between The Rock and John Cena. But it just so happens that he shows up at the closeout on Monday Night Raw. Now, of course, Brock comes in. Leaves out John Cena with the F5. And up until that point, the rest was history. So now you gotta ask yourself. He's here. He laid out John Cena. What's the point? Why is he here? Well, um, one of my boys, one of my people is asking this question. And I'm going to take the time to give you what I think is um, relevant about Brock, Brock Lesnar's return to the WWE and um, him being there and why go after John Cena well case in point Brock Lesnar is money John Cena is money putting them two together it's going to equal a strong buy rate it's going to equal a big payday and this is something that the WWE Universe want to see from the wrestling fans who would like to see. Just to see Brock Lesnar, who at the point of time was at the top of his game, the youngest world heavyweight champion, the youngest undisputed champion in the history of world wrestling entertainment. He defeated big names. Hulk Hogan, The Rock, Kurt Angle, The Undertaker, the Big Show. Kurt Angle, Hogan, The Rock, The Undertaker, Big Show. Right off the bat, these names right here are the greatest guys who have ever held the world title in the WWE, WCW. These are legendary figures. Um, Rod Lesnar has beaten them all. Beating Hogan right out the gate on national television, that has never been seen. Hogan has never lost to anybody on national television, except for Andre the Giant, except to Mr. Perfect Curtain. But Hogan lost via submission with a bear hug from Brock Lesnar. Kurt Angle. He beat Kurt Angle in a Iron Man match on SmackDown. Never been done. The Undertaker. He's beaten The Undertaker for the world title numerous times and even in the hell of a cell. That's right. He beat The Rock on his first attempt to become the undisputed world champion at SummerSlam of that year. So that right there is much. He leaves the WWE, he goes to UFC, he wins the world title. That's money. Prior to even going to the UFC, Brock Lesnar was IWGP Heavyweight Champion of the World. He held the third version of the title. He made money. 
he lost the title to Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle won the IWGP belt. He was recognized as IWGP version 3 champion. But that still was money. So Brock Lesnar equals dollars. Brock Lesnar equals money. And on the other hand, you have John Cena. Now, John Cena just fresh out the gate into the Thugonomics thing, which ended up becoming the precursor to the Sea Nation Can't See Me Rise Above Heat. John Cena comes out the gate challenging the big dog. He lost to The Undertaker. He lost to Kurt Angle. He lost to Eddie Guerrero. He lost to Booker T, but he's also beating these guys. But he comes up short against Brock Lesnar, and they had a mini feud. And Brock Lesnar stomped the mud hole, you know, and then walked and dry. Mm-hmm. The thing about that was, this was Cena's first attempt to start to launch himself as a star. Now, Cena is the established superstar. He's beaten a, he's beat a host of people within the last 10 years. Bradshaw. Big Show, Bautista, Kali, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Randy Orton, Jericho, Steve Punk. He's done a lot. He's done quite a bit. Just recently he lost to The Rock. So, looking to bounce back, looking to start to get his head clear so he can get back into the final picture, in comes the beast, Brock Lesnar and Cena start to collide, and it's going to be the beginning of a very interesting summer, a very interesting time, perhaps we'll see another one year build up between Brock Lesnar and John Cena, but now, well, man, Ashton, is anyone really interested in seeing Brock Lesnar? WWE wrestling fans are true to the stars that they help make. They're true to the stars that they support. And when they feel that they're just there for the ride, they're going to charge you and they'll let you know where to go. Case in point with that was when Scott Hall and Kevin Nash left the WWE to go to WCW. I was at that event. Man, Scott Hall and these guys come out the gate. They got pulled out the building because they were leaving. It's just like the ECW guys. But they know that a really good worker was leaving ECW. They either if they respect them or if they didn't respect them, they let them know. They didn't want the guy to go, or if he's going, then they say you should get something out. That's just the bottom line. WrestleMania 20. Brock Lesnar's last appearance in the video game, he's got pulled out the building. But now he's back. And we'll see where it goes from there. Until then, I'll see you guys on the flip. Later.